Extreme Sports Wingsuit For those who are seeking the ultimate thrill, a wingsuit may be just what you're looking for. A wingsuit is a specialized jumpsuit that allows the wearer to glide through the air with remarkable speed and maneuverability. It's like skydiving, but with the added adrenaline rush of soaring through the air like a bird. In this blog, we'll explore the world of wingsuits, including their history, how they work, and where you can experience the thrill of wingsuit flying for yourself. History of Wingsuits The first wingsuit was invented in the 1930s by a man named Franz Reichelt. Reichelt was an Austrian-born French tailor who was interested in developing a suit that would allow people to fly. He created a suit that consisted of a pair of wings attached to a bodysuit. Unfortunately, his first attempt to demonstrate the suit was a tragic failure, as he jumped off the Eiffel Tower and fell to his death. It wasn't until the 1990s that wingsuits became a more popular form of extreme sports. Yari Kwasma, a Finnish skydiver, was one of the pioneers of wingsuit flying. He developed a wingsuit that was more aerodynamic and safer than previous designs, and he began to teach others how to use it. Since then, wingsuits have become increasingly popular, with more and more people taking up the sport every year. How Wingsuits Work A wingsuit is designed to give the wearer a larger surface area, which allows them to glide through the air with greater control and precision. The suit consists of a set of wings that are attached to the arms and body of the wearer. The wings are made of fabric that is stretched between the limbs of the suit, and they act like airfoils, creating lift and reducing drag as the wearer falls through the air. To use a wingsuit, the wearer must jump from a high altitude, such as an airplane or a mountaintop. They then use their body position and the movements of their arms and legs to control their flight path. By shifting their weight and adjusting the position of their limbs, the wearer can steer the wingsuit in different directions, perform acrobatic maneuvers, and even achieve speeds of up to 120 miles per hour. Popular Wingsuit Locations Wingsuit flying can be done in many different locations around the world, but some places are especially popular among thrill seekers. Here are a few of the most well-known wingsuit destinations. Lauterbrunnen, Switzerland, this small town in the Swiss Alps is a popular base for wingsuit jumpers. The steep cliffs and deep valleys of the surrounding mountains provide ideal conditions for wingsuit flying. Chamonix, France, another alpine destination, Chamonix is a popular spot for wingsuit jumpers. The town is situated at the foot of Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in the Alps, and the surrounding terrain offers a variety of jumps and flight paths. Moab, Utah, this desert town in the western United States is a mecca for extreme sports enthusiasts. The rugged canyons and rock formations in the area provide plenty of opportunities for wingsuit flying. Interlaken, Switzerland, located in the heart of the Swiss Alps, Interlaken is a popular destination for adventure sports of all kinds, including wingsuit flying. The town is situated between two large lakes and surrounded by towering peaks, making it an ideal location for jumps of all types. Equipment for Wingsuit Flying To get started with wingsuit flying, you'll need some specialized equipment. Here are the main components you'll need. Wingsuit, of course, the most important piece of equipment for wingsuit flying is the wingsuit itself. There are many different types of wingsuits available, each with its own design and features. Some are designed for speed, while others are focused on maneuverability and control. When choosing a wingsuit, it's important to consider your experience level and the type of flying you plan to do. Parachute, while wingsuits do provide some lift, they don't allow you to stay in the air indefinitely. Eventually, you'll need to deploy a parachute to land safely. Most wingsuit jumpers use a specialized parachute designed for the sport, which allows for greater control and precision during the landing phase. Helmet A helmet is a must-have for any type of extreme sports, and wingsuit flying is no exception. A good wingsuit helmet should be lightweight, aerodynamic, 
and provide good protection for the head and face. Altimeter because wingsuit flying is done at such high altitudes, it's essential to have an altimeter to track your altitude and ensure that you deploy your parachute at the right time. There are many different types of altimeters available, from simple analog devices to high-tech digital models that provide a wealth of data. Jumpsuit. In addition to the wingsuit itself, you'll need a specialized jumpsuit to wear underneath it. The jumpsuit is designed to provide insulation and protection from the elements, as well as to enhance your aerodynamics and reduce drag during flight. GoPro Camera Many wingsuit jumpers like to capture their flights on video, and a GoPro camera is an excellent way to do so. These rugged, lightweight cameras can be attached to your helmet or wingsuit, allowing you to capture stunning footage of your flight from a variety of angles. Conclusion Wingsuit flying is an exhilarating and challenging sport that requires skill, courage, and a willingness to push the limits of what's possible. Whether you're an experienced skydiver looking for a new challenge, or a thrill seeker looking to try something new, wingsuit flying is an experience you won't soon forget. From the Swiss Alps to the Utah desert, there are countless locations around the world where you can experience the thrill of wingsuit flying for yourself. So strap on your wingsuit, take a deep breath, and prepare to soar through the skies like a bird.